Today's tutorial is about how you can link your Google Form responses to your Discord server to a certain channel to show up as a text response or an embed response. So without further ado, let's continue to the video. Start with uh, the text response okay we're gonna go by the video and do the embed response as well so go to forms.google.com and you should be able to access all your forms and, or even create a new one i'm gonna blur the uh, window because i don't want to show my other forms and create a new document a new form by clicking on this plus sign so click on this plus sign and create a new form after you have created a new form you can name it literally whatever you want so i'm gonna name it google form test for discord response because that makes sense i guess <laughs> anyways then uh, uh you can add any description it doesn't matter you can add any fields but you cannot add uh fields with the following two options that i'm gonna show you right now so I was saying that you can add any sort of information like a uh, short answer, paragraphs, multiple choices, drop down menu and uh, linear options and etc. Everything and each and everything you want. But you cannot, what you cannot use is basically the check mark, uh, the checkbox option. Okay, uh, if you input it, it wouldn't send you a response and it will totally fail. And you should also not use uh, the upload option because it's broken as well. It doesn't come out with the response. So uh, if you use these two options, it's never gonna pop up in your response. So make sure to avoid it. Moving on, uh, you can use the other options, so I'm just gonna delete this and uh, change it up to some short answer paragraphs and stuff. And uh, you can set up your form anyhow you want with the other options, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and uh, add as many fields as you want and then you can pick short answer paragraphs, I'm just gonna uh, randomly pick them. And then click on this three dots option and click on script editor. Here comes the main part. Now, as you're finally in the script editor, you will be, uh, after it loads up, it takes a little bit of seconds for me because um, stupid internet, Never mind. But uh, you can see the code.js, you can uh, use the three dots option and delete it, it doesn't really matter. Then click on the plus uh, sign from the files option, click on script and create a new script. Now name it text or you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter now go to the video description you will be able to uh, find a download option uh, it's a dot uh, rar file so let me just uh, go to that so uh, it's a rar file you can open it up extract it it has three other text files inside it that i have already extracted on my menu i mean on my window so you can see them here go to the first one that's named text response so uh, anything inside it just copy it it doesn't really matter uh, then go to text.js uh, the script menu uh, i mean the web where you have browsed the script and then paste the codes right down here after you have done that save the script and you can see a ver webhook equals to your webhook link now where do you get a webhook link go to the discord channel where you want to send the response to then click on edit channel go to integrations and you can find webhooks now create a new webhook if you don't have one already now uh, you can name it whatever you want i'm just gonna name it text response webhook and after we have done that we're gonna save the changes and copy the webhook url from here and this is the url we're gonna need to replace in the script so go to the script website again uh, before that I'm just gonna add a breaking point here so it's easier for us to understand and differentiate between uh, 
uh, the previous text response and the new one that's uh, that we're gonna send after we're done setting up the script so go to the script page again now uh, we need to paste the new uh, webhook link right down here and replace it with the already existing one so select the whole thing replace it there you go now you can see ver message that says uh, the title your title and it comes with a mention member mention or a role mention you can easily uh, handle these by going to the script again as you can see mention a member uh, it needs you to use those arrow keys and uh, basically add an add the rate and then member ID. Now, how do you get a member ID? For that, you need to go to your Discord, go to user settings, go to appearance and scroll down to developer mode. Now, you can have it enabled or disabled. Make sure you have it enabled so you can grab IDs of your members. So if you want to mention any members, right click on their name, copy their ID and replace it with the member ID in the script. So every time you send a response, their names will be mentioned with the response. Now, how do you mention a role? Delete that part and uh, mark out role ID. Go to your server settings, go to roles and right click on test role then copy the role ID afterwards go back to the script and replace the role ID with the new numerical ID after that you can save your project save your uh, script then go to the side menu the sidebar and it will set triggers uh, the watch kind of thingy my bobber whatever so go to that uh, trigger option after that click on add the trigger and you can see that it says text submit so select text submit and uh, in the last event type select on form submit then click on save and it should ask permission for access to your mail so it can forward the triggers it just needs the access basically so as it is a custom script it will say that it's not a verified script but go click on advanced and give it permission anyway so as you can see it added a new script after you have done that, go back to your Google form, click on send, copy the URL from here and paste it on a new uh, browser tab. After you have done that, you will be able to fill out your own form. So we're going to run a test form submit. So I'm just going to type in test, test two and select the option one from the uh, multiple choices and let me just name it test one then click on submit it should send the response to our discord server and to the perfectly exact uh, discord channel that we copied the webhook link from so there you go there is your text response now if you didn't like uh, the mention part you can delete uh, the mention thingy and uh, remove it totally now let's learn how we can do it with the embed response. So I'm just gonna add a new line break for the embed message so we can differentiate between them. Then going back to the form and to the script, uh, make sure it's on editor. Now you can see the text.js perfectly uh, as there was. Now we don't really need this one, so we're gonna create a new script. So click on the plus sign, click uh, create a new script, name it embed. Now go back to the text.js because it might uh, interfere with the embed message. So delete uh, the script inside it. Now uh, go back to the embed response txt that I had in my RAR file. Copy everything from inside it and uh, we're gonna paste it in the embed.js script. After we have done that, uh, go back to the embed response discord channel and select integrations, create a webhook and uh, you can name it anything you want. I'm just going to name it embed response webhook 
then copy the webhook URL. After you have done that, go back to the script and here you have where you can paste the webhook link. I have done that. You can select a title. Now we cannot really add a mention option in the embed message. We need to create a new verb for it. So I'm not gonna bother you uh, going in depth about it. So that's why I have added uh, an additional uh, response. I mean mention embed response.txt within the RAR file. So if you go back to the RAR file, where we have extracted those uh, three txt files uh, go to the th uh, third one that's named mention embed response so mention for embed response so uh, copy everything from inside it and uh, paste it in the previous text.js or you can rename it to mention.js after you have done that uh, just save the script first then go to embed.js copy the webhook uh, url again after you've done that, replace it with uh, within the mention.js now. And uh, the verb message, you can uh, remove this third bracket part and remove the spaces and uh, copy mem the member's ID you want to mention. Replace it with member ID alphabet with the numerical one. And uh, you can copy any role IDs that you want to mention and uh, do the same as before just like we did before so paste it right here and you will be all good to go after that remove the third bracket option it doesn't really matter or it would have popped up now save your project go to um the trigger option and delete the old trigger not this way and don't be dumb like me just cancel and select the third uh, three dots option delete uh, it forever and uh, add a new trigger you can select text submit on form submit uh, then click on done and this time we really need to add uh, another trigger that will be embed dot uh, embed submit and uh, it will be as same as before there we go you have both the triggers now if you didn't really want to mention somebody you didn't need the first uh, text submit uh, trigger uh, you can just deny it and add only the embed version but as I'm showing how you can mention as well you I'll be adding that option so after I have submitted the new form you can see that it has uh, sent a mention to me and uh, the role I have mentioned and you have your embed message right there so that's all for this video i haven't really uh, owned or created any of the scripts it's all from this youtuber named daniel yt uk i really hope that's how you pronounce it so there is his video he created the whole code and script so go show him some support by subscribing and uh, liking his video uh, and uh, yeah that's pretty much all about the video enjoy uh, the script and have fun i really thought that i should do a voiceover and explain things better in this video so that's about it let's meet you in the next video yeah.